Good morning, welcome to your new market update and today we're going to discuss Cardano and Zilliqa as those have not been into the spotlight too much in the recent weeks. Price has been consolidating as well but now there's some news that came out and that we have to discuss alongside with some technicals on the chart. So before we continue do not forget to subscribe and eat and also like this video and comment if you want to see some special content and then we can go to the charts in which we first discuss Bitcoin as Bitcoin is the primary mover of this market. What is Bitcoin doing currently? Well we can see that Bitcoin is currently just acting inside the resistance area. We have discussed this yesterday in the update in which we said that the entire region that we have here, which is basically this order block, as you can see with this arrow, um, that's the clear, well, rejection zone or resistance zone that probably the price of Bitcoin can't break through. If Bitcoin is going to break through this resistance zone, I think we're going to continue towards the all-time high region, or at least around 61k, as that is basically um, the next stop if 55 breaks. But we have seen a slight rejection through the night through which we can assume that further sideways action is likely. As long as Bitcoin doesn't break this 55k range, I think we're going to have some more sideways action. And the area to watch for potential support zones is this green block that I'm making here. That's probably the area that you want to see sustain a support as in the previous period during the halving, we also had those retests of order blocks before the price started to continue making a new expansion. So in this case, we see that we've got a big uh, corrective move, nice bounce up, but now we probably have some chopperinos or sideways action. And through that, altcoins will do well. It's not a bear market, it's a bull cycle, and it's a corrective move inside a bull cycle. You should be comparing it to um, the stock markets right now in which people are predicting the bear market as well and they have been doing that since 2017 and since then we still have a bull cycle or in the biggest bull cycle ever so yes a bear market is going to come however timing the actual bear market is crucial and very difficult to do um, and betting on a bear market is the most complex call you could make in trading and investing especially in the stock markets it's been going up since 2008 or 2010 um, so constantly saying that there is a bear market is just a very improper uh, statement to make you can just say it's a healthy correction in a bull cycle which always happens we know it's from the 2014 to 2017 cycle also 30 to 40 percent corrective moves have been happening um, so therefore, I don't believe that we're in a bear market, we're in a bull cycle and just Bitcoin is going to consolidate a little bit, uh, take some sideways action and then altcoins will do well. And one of them is Cardano that has some news, which it is becoming, um, well, it made a new uh, deal with Ethiopia in which um, the government is going to use uh, the Cardano platform for their government which is amazing and which shows that governments are also jumping into crypto they are not jumping into bitcoin alone they're jumping into using the blockchain utility for their own services as blockchain is way larger than bitcoin alone and that would be great if that discussion would have been done on national tv in the netherlands but also broader in the world that people are discussing the actual use cases that blockchain could bring rather than SafeMoon, Dogecoin or Bitcoin. Um, these two topics are usually white in the media, mainstream media, while such a thing as this is something that's way more important and it's well done for Cardano. Um, so they are partnering up or I, the government of the countries in Africa are using um, uh, the platform of Cardano, which means that price should be running, right? Well, it's not. Um, it's just consolidating still and as you can see in this chart and I'll just zoom out for a little bit there's still lots of upside to gain for Cardano um, the fact is is that we've seen a big, big massive impulse move in the previous period as Cardano has uh, had, the, had a new upgrade in this period as well and since then price has been consolidating why the hype is a little bit away and when the hype is away, news doesn't really have an impact at all. Um, 
it just has to make compression once again it just makes a sideways action when there's news during hype the price pushes further up um, during that momentum given that people are extremely positive etc etc <clears throat> in this case price of cardano is just seeing some new compression period in which we retest this previous level if we do crack the range high i think we're going to have a new impulse wave and start to continue running uh, but we in a new impulse wave you should be aware of the fact that you have a support resistance flip of this level at 2350 if that happens we can see continuation happening in general so um what's on cardano on a bitcoin pair i think there's still lots of upside to gain uh, preferably you want to see a flip or breaker of this 2400 sets level if that happens you can see continuation happening in general cardano against usdt pretty much same figure um, still above those uh, those moving averages but i don't really rely on those on the usdt pair um, the more important part is that we held the critical level for support as that's the reasoning that we are still making higher lows higher highs and therefore we can start making a consolidation period or sideways action we might even just have a very tiny corrective move and then break the high and start continuing the run um, you sh and you should be aware that during a bull cycle the most obvious retraces or far deep retraces like these and these often do not happen so in this case i think once we break this red line we just ex overshoot the previous high start consolidating and then start continuing as then the real breaker becomes the previous high as the support zone so as long as that flips we just continue moving so if we have a 30 to 40 percent correction or with altcoins 50 percent corrective move that's the moment that you really should become interested at this stage still um then the next one is silica i've not been mentioning it too much but if you want to see some content regarding silica um, there's an interview with amrit kumar who's the uh, uh who's with silica and it's been being posted uh, like a month ago so that's some content but they've also partnered up with nine football players um <coughs> ja james rodriguez raul jimenez diego jota uh, Ranamo Falcao, uh, Keila Navas, Joao Felix, a douchebag, and Ruben Diaz. They've partnered up with them, which is amazing and which is also showing that crypto is becoming mainstream, just like we discussed with Cardano. We are just at the start of crypto adoption. These are the first phases. That's why this bull cycle is most likely going to be longer than the previous one and way higher than people are expecting it to go as the perspectives for crypto blockchain nfts DeFi is just insane so great news for zilliqa which actually made the price of zilliqa push a little higher on the bitcoin pair as you can see we can see we've made this chart so you can just scroll back on my twitter feed we've made this chart in which this is the first real point of interest and this is the critical level that we should be holding as you can see, we are above the 100 day and 200 day MA. We hold the critical level of support. We have had a deep wick down, but we closed above. And now we have got a new big or new runner up and we've got a very bullish chart for Zilliqa. What does it show to me? Well, it shows to me that we are at the same stage as Ave was in this case. We are above the 100 day, to, uh, 100 day MA, we are above the 200 day MA and we are ready to make a very big run. And as you can see with Aave, we've made a run that is practically a 20x since. Aave had a bear market since, made another run since. Those have been two cycles, while Zilliqa is just at the start of the first real cycle in which I would not be surprised if Zilliqa is going to run to anything around the all-time highs for the Bitcoin pair. At least right now we can also see higher lows and higher highs and we are ready to make a new run as we just held the previous low, uh, the crucial level of support and we're about to break the new high. I think we're going to run through 500 sets and we're going to make a run towards 800 sets just in the coming 6 to 8 weeks. So yes, altcoins are still very bullish. Altcoins are still eager to continue. So stay tuned. Keep on moving, keep on investing your time into crypto, keep on educating yourself, keep on uh, evaluating what you do and you will get there. You will become financially free if you put in the hours. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to comment if you want to see some special content. I'll be back tomorrow with a fresh new market update. Ciao.